One of the most famous flavour combinations would have to be tomatoes and burrata. They remind me of Italy every time and I just love it. Now burrata is essentially mozzarella skins that have been tied into money bags and then filled with a delicious cheese curd and bathed in cream. I absolutely love it. And they're very delicate, so you have to be careful with them because you will puncture them, again, because they're like little money bags. So I want to show you one. And using your hands is the best way to handle them. See how they look like money bags? Filled with delicious cream. Now, for this recipe, I am going to break them, but for now, we just want to drain the excess water off. We'll place one in the bowl here. And the second one. Carefully drain it off. And then we'll place that over here just to dry out slightly while we prepare our tomatoes. Look at these tomatoes. These are ox heart tomatoes. And when they look this good, you really don't want to do too much to them. Now, what I do want to do, though, is take the skins off. And this is just for presentation and also for the mouthfeel, so we really get the essence of the tomato. Now, to get these skins off, we just need a small, sharp knife. And we're just going to cut across in the base. Don't go too far in. And the second one, when it comes to good quality tomatoes, make sure you don't put them in the fridge unless it's a really, really hot day. You do want to keep them in your fruit bowl just like any other fruit so we get as much flavour out of them as possible. Now we'll just pop them into some rapidly boiling water. And we want to pop them in there just for a few minutes to loosen the skins. After that, we're going to place them in some cold iced water. And I do this because I don't want to cook the tomatoes. We just want to take the skins off. So this is the best way to do it. Now, we want to take them out quite rapidly into that iced water to stop the cooking process so we can peel them and also so they don't overcook. We don't want tomato puree here. We just want the raw tomatoes without the skin. OK. Now, these cool down quite quickly. And then to peel them, look how easy it is to do. We're still wanting to hold the shape of these tomatoes because they are just so beautiful. And you can just see how I'm touching it there. It's still quite firm. So I'm going to peel these, and then I'm just going to really roughly cut them into chunks. Now for some French shallot in this. I like to use French shallots because they're mild in flavour. I don't want any garlic in this, just a slight onion flavour. Also, spring onions would work nicely with this. And I want to finely chop this. It's also great for a slight crunch in this recipe. Mum, when she makes her tomato salad, she always adds French shallots. So I guess that's where I'm getting this flavour combination from. I'm going to add that to our tomatoes. And I'm just going to reserve a small amount for the garnish later on. Now, tomatoes love their salt. In actual fact, don't do this without the salt because you won't taste the true flavour of the tomato without a generous pinch of it. So in it goes. Freshly cracked pepper. And then some acidity. You could use balsamic, but I love the addition of some red wine vinegar a good amount into the tomatoes and then really good quality extra virgin olive oil. So I'm going to use a nice, rich and robust one, about a tablespoon or so. Now with a fork and spoon, I'm going to give that a toss. Mmm, that looks so good and smells great too. OK, now let's put this together. So our beautiful little burrata. It's so sad to break it, but I am going to break it because I want a pull of this curd. Look at that. Oh, that makes me so happy. I love it. And we'll break the second one. Yum o. Oh. And then with two forks, I'm just going to break it up even more and spread it out evenly. So we've got a pull of burrata. Now I like to season my burrata just with a small amount of salt and a drizzle of olive oil. Mm -mm -mm. 
And now for our tomatoes, just get a bigger spoon. You know, growing up, I used to hate tomatoes. It was the taste of a soggy sandwich. I think Dad would make us tomato sandwiches. By the time it got to lunch, it was a soggy sandwich. But when you do get really good quality tomatoes like this, the game changes completely. I adore them and have now fallen in love with them, especially when they're dressed the correct way. Salt, good oil, some shallots, and then pairing it with the most magnificent cheese. Who wouldn't love this? Yum. Finally, let's add some extra French shallots over the top and a spoonful of the juices from the bowl. One more thing, some pepper. Yes, you could add some basil, but really I just want to show off two great ingredients, burrata and the tomatoes.